Goodyear Aerospace Corporation was the aerospace and defense subsidiary of Goodyear. The company was originally operated as a division within Goodyear as part of a joint project with Luftschiffbau Zeppelin, leading to the famous Goodyear blimps. As part of the failing relationship between the U.S. and Germany in the pre-war era, the division was spun off as Goodyear Aircraft Company in 1939. In 1941 they opened a new factory in Arizona where they produced subassemblies, including subcontracted airframe construction and the design of the Goodyear F-2G Corsair and Goodyear Duck. In the post-war era, the division began to diversify and made major contributions to the development of synthetic aperture radar. In 1963 they became Goodyear Aerospace, with major product lines in radar, aircraft canopies, bulletproof glass, a number of spacecraft-related products, and the unique Goodyear inflatorplane. A 1986 hostile takeover attempt of the parent company by James Goldsmith led to a massive restructuring to build capital to buy Goldsmith out. Goodyear Aerospace was sold to Laurel in 1987, which in turn sold their non-satellite operations with the defense products purchased by Lockheed Martin in 1993. Topic early years Goodyear's aerospace operations began with the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Co.'s aeronautics department. As part of the settling of war reparations with Germany after World War I, the German airship industry was reduced and Zeppelin operations forbidden. In 1924, Goodyear formed a joint interest company with the German Luftschiffbau Zeppelin Company, of which Goodyear held two-thirds and the Zeppelin Company one-third interest. This Goodyear Zeppelin Corporation was able to use Zeppelin's patents, and a number of German engineers and technical staff moved to the U.S. The chief engineer of the Zeppelin company became the vice president of engineering. The company subsequently constructed dirigibles for the U.S. military. Goodyear's giant hangar was constructed where airships for the U.S. Navy, including the USS Akron ZRS-4, were constructed. Topic. Wartime aircraft manufacturing Also due to the lack of business during the Depression, the company used its advanced aeronautical knowledge to design and build the high-speed Comet commuter trains for the route between Boston and Providence. It became Goodyear Aircraft Corporation on December 5, 1939 in response to a contract from the Glen L. Martin Company to design and build the empennage section for its new plane, the B-26 Marauder. The Army had placed a large order and Goodyear had available manufacturing space at its huge airship dock, in Springfield Township, Ohio near Akron. Due to ongoing problems in Europe, Goodyear created Goodyear Aircraft Corporation to handle U.S. military contracts in 1939. The German-U.S. joint venture ended in 1941 and airship operations were moved over to Goodyear Aircraft Corporation. By 1941, manufacturing facilities were running at full capacity and ground was broken on July 15, 1941 at an additional location just west of Phoenix, Arizona. Goodyear was familiar with the area, and had been operating a large cotton ranch there for decades. Arizona produced more than 3 million pounds of airframes during World War II. Goodyear Aircraft Company in Goodyear, Arizona. In 1951, the Arizona employees past and present played a long and storied role in numerous SAR synthetic aperture radar firsts. These include the original SAR patent, the first demonstration SAR and flight test, the first operational SAR system, the first operational SAR data link, the first 5-foot resolution operational SAR system, the first 1-foot resolution SAR system, and the first large-scale SAR digital processor. The company has installed and flown over 500 SAR systems on more than 30 different types of aircraft for numerous countries throughout the world. The company designed and produced all of the evolving high-performance SAR systems for the U.S. Air Force SR-71 Blackbird spy plane throughout its entire operational history, spanning some 29 years. <laughs> <laughs> Diversification 
The Arizona plant produced a range of defense products in later years, including jet aircraft canopies, bulletproof glass and vehicular armor products, military shelters and missile transporters. Darrell C. Romick, former chief engineer of Taylorcraft Airplane Company was a close associate of Wernher von Braun. Romick's worked for Goodyear Aircraft in the 1950s produced a rocket and spacecraft design called the Goodyear Meteor Junior concept. The three-stage rocket had similarities to the much later Space Shuttle in that it was manned, had reusable stages, and its topmost stage was designed to ferry personnel and cargo to a large space station orbiting the Earth. The concept was designed in 1954 to 1958, with a launch date of 1962. The company became Goodyear Aerospace Corporation in 1963 to reflect the diverse range of products. In 1987 it was sold to Laurel Corporation for $640 million following a massive restructuring of Goodyear prompted by the hostile takeover attempt by James Goldsmith and the Hansen Trust. The Goodyear name disappeared and became the Defense Systems Unit of Laurel. <laughs> Demise Laurel's rights to the Goodyear blimp designs GZ-20 and GZ-22 were sold to Lockheed Martin, which purchased the Defense Systems Unit in 1993. While owning the designs, Lockheed Martin does not manufacture any airship products. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Aircraft Airships C class blimp, C five blimp, D class blimp, E class blimp, F class blimp, G class blimp, J class blimp, K class blimp, K one airship, H class blimp, L class blimp M class blimp, N class blimp, Goodyear blimp, Goodyear GZ20, Goodyear RS1, Goodyear Type AD, Goodyear ZWG, Laurel GZ22, USS Akron ZRS4, USS Macon ZRS5. Topic. Fixed-wing aircraft Goodyear Duck Goodyear F-2G Corsair Goodyear Inflatorplane Helicopters Goodyear GA-400R Gizmo Missiles UUM-44 Subrock See also ASARS-1